Ted Cruz is dead. Rafael Cruz. Look into my eyes. Who, if you're not familiar with Rafael Cruz, well, first of all, you need to go to our YouTube channel and type in search Rafael Cruz because there's a whole archive of us covering him because he is, he's quite the character. He himself in his own right, he's pretty much a right-wing talking head. He gets on all the shows and uh, does all the talks and uh, bilks all mind. the money from all the different uh, bases. Uh, he is out of his mind, too. Uh, Rafael Cruz was on the Eagle Forum Live this past weekend with Phyllis Shafley, right-wing talker. And they started off talking about uh, what was going on in Alabama with uh, the Chief Justice of Alabama, uh, Justice Roy Moore. He basically said that uh, he put a halt on all gay marriages, all same-sex marriages in uh, Alabama, basically going against the federal judge's ruling that uh, they should be, be able to get married now. And he basically put a, a stop to it while we wait for the Supreme Court to make their decision. As, this, as you all know by now, the Supreme Court has said they will take up the case of uh, whether uh, same-sex marriage is, should be legal across the country. And uh, he was talking, he was giving a, he was saying something very exciting was happening in Alabama, and he was very excited about this, and he went on and on. And then they started taking phone calls. And let's play the first clip, because, you know, he's crazy enough when he's, just talk when he's talking about how great it is that uh, Alabama's basically saying that uh, the federal judge's ruling means absolutely nothing, and, they can con and uh, Alabama can continue to discriminate against same-sex couples who live in their state. But, you know, when he hears it uh, from, when, he, when, he gets, when it gets reaffirmed by the, his audience, then he goes full on. And, and you really have to hear it to believe it. Marriage is God's law, which is written in stone and cannot be changed. It's not something for them to be even a political issue. This is a caller. And even more than that, Here's we did not way. set up a form of government where one judge or even five Supreme Court justices can change the, the rule of marriage that we've had for millennia. And that's what pastors ought to be preaching about and warning us of what might happen and how, what we're going to do about it. Absolutely. 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 I, and, you know, we need to realize that the attack on marriage is more than just an attack on marriage. It actually goes to the heart of religious freedom. Because you see what is going to uh, come next, and this is uh, part of the danger of what may happen out of the Supreme Court in June, is that if marriage of anybody with anybody becomes a civil rights issue, then they're going to come to churches and force pastors to violate their religious convictions. And so it's going to come to America to where a pastor is going to be faced with a decision. Do you obey uh, a law that is not only unjust, but that it violates your core principles, or do you obey God and face prison? This is the dilemma that uh, America, America's pastors are going to be facing if this issue becomes its label a civil rights issue. It goes way beyond marriage to actually violate the religious freedom of people of faith. Now you see what happens. This caller calls in with completely inaccurate information, which of course this caller has gotten from the likes of Phyllis Schafley and Rafael Cruz. And, and they believe, they truly believe in their, their heart of hearts that by allowing same-sex marriage, religious figures like priests, whatever religion you might be, Catholic, uh, evangelical, whatever, they're going to be forced to marry same-sex couples in the church. And that's just not true. What these rulings are saying is that the legal definition of marriage, when you go 
to the, uh, when you go to City Hall and they marry you there, that marriage you cannot discriminate against. But they want to so badly feel like they're being persecuted that this is an attack on them that they need to, to continue this and say that they're going to come into the church and they're going to round up the priests and arrest them. And now, while the base believes this, and maybe Rafael Cruz and Phyllis Schafley do, I don't know, they certainly need their audience to continue to believe this. And if you're wondering why we're covering it on this show, other than to laugh at it because it's pretty funny, it's incredibly dangerous. And you'll know why, and you'll realize why, because just moments later, on this same show, Eagle Forum Live, hosted by Phyllis Shafley, with Rafael Cruz as the special guest on this episode, this caller, another caller calls in. And this is what he has to say. You know, we are on the brink of the destruction of this country. We are, for the first time, facing handing... Your son is running for president. I agree. <laughs> and it's a good In one. our children and our grandchildren, a country that is less than what we inherited. We have the most lawless administration we have ever had, where the rule of law, the Constitution, uh, is trampled every day. Separation of powers is trampled on a daily basis. We have judges legislating from the bench, and we have a president that says he has a pen and a phone and totally disregards the rule of law and is governing by decree, by executive action, both basically in like, like an emperor more than a president. How about like and a czar? He likes czars. Yes, oh yes, yes. And I'll tell you what, if we have eight more years of this type of government, this country will be destroyed. Well, let's see what... Lucy. <laughs> Some of our listeners want to ask you. Come and tell you, Phyllis Schlafly. Let's see what Dan has on mind from Sioux Just City, Iowa. Hello, Dan. Welcome. All right. So you have Rafael Cruz out here in the previous clip we played saying it's an attack on marriage. And that's, it's more than just an attack on marriage. It goes to the heart of religious freedom. Pastors will be faced, will face prison time if they refuse to marry same-sex couples in the church. And then in this clip, you have him say, we are on the brink of destruction in this country. President Obama is acting like an emperor more than a president. This country will be destroyed. And then we have this happy-go-lucky, like, old-timey, like, hey, welcome to the Right Ale Show. This is the Eagle Forum Live with Phyllis Schafley. Like, we're on the prices right here. That's the type of uh, voice we got coming in to jolly, with a, with a jolly uh, kick to his voice. He's going to happily bring in this caller. And just, just let's see what this caller has to say. Hey, thanks for taking my call. You were referencing uh, the, the idea that judges would order pastors to marry homosexuals. Uh, my question regards, in the history of the Jewish people, there was a time for war, and they would rise up against uh, the people that oppressed them. At what point do Christians in America, are we to line up like sheep for the slaughter, or will we defend ourselves and rise up if it means killing judges? I know that's a hard question, but at some point, if they're going to wage war against us, at what point do we defend ourselves uh, as we would be at that point in a state of war? I will hang up and uh, wait your return. No, I'm not ready to kill anybody at all. My God. At what point do we start killing judges? How magnanimous this, of you. This listener of Phyllis Schlafly and Rafael Cruz asks, and Schlafly goes, Schlaf, Schlafly, is her name Schlafly actually? I've been missing that first L. Schlafly. My God. She's not ready to kill anybody. Not ready. Unbelievable. Just this, this guy's son, Rafael's, Rafael Cruz's son, Ted Cruz, is running for president of the United States. And he's going out here saying this stuff. And he himself finds nothing wrong with it. Ted Cruz's campaign, 
you know, you'd think they'd say, you know, tone it down. You know, at least the following, <laughs> the weekend right after I announce, can you please keep out of the limelight, Pops? Like, this is literally days after Ted Cruz has announced he's running for president. They don't, they're delusional. Unbelievable. They think, I mean, Ted Cruz thinks he's living in a completely different America. 